Well, good win for our team. Um, you know, had to deal with a lot of, uh, you know, uncomfortable, you know, situations there late in the second half. We put ourselves, you know, in a tough spot, um, you know, not being able to, one, you know, consistently get, you know, the ball to go in the basket when we had good shots. And then two, um, obviously being organized, getting back, our effort getting back, and then our effort on the ball in the second half as they sort of really just spread the floor and just started the drive uh, became problematic. But um, the big thing is finding a way to uh, find a way to regroup, just find a way to you know organize yourselves and be in the same situation that you were in in Wisconsin the other day and win the game. And you know that's what I told our team going into the last three minutes. You know we're in this situation. Um, the other night, Thursday night, and uh, we found a way not to be able to execute or get the stops. And I think tonight we got a couple key stops. We were able to execute and we made a couple free throws and uh, we we're able to win the game. So that's the most important thing because, um, you know, right now in this league, every one of these things counts. First question, Alex Bozich. Archie, uh, offensive rebounding has been kind of inconsistent uh, up to this point, but tonight I think you guys grabbed about 32% of your missed shots. Uh, that's about 10% better, I guess, than what you have been doing. How important is that uh, for you to get guys to continue to establish that, and, and how much have you been emphasizing that over the last the couple weeks? It was a big emphasis, you know, coming out of the Wisconsin game. I think we played 50 minutes in that, that game and maybe had one or two offensive rebounds, which is unheard of, especially with Trace and Race in the game. Both of them are very good offensive rebounders. But it's second efforts, you know, and I think sometimes these guys are playing a lot of minutes and, you know, it's hard, but you got to go. You got to find a way to get second shots. And we talked a lot about it in the last three days, especially playing against Nebraska, who changes up their defenses. Um, and there's going to be a lot of rotation with post traps and drives that you're going to have the opportunity to crash with lanes. And I thought tonight we had some big ones. At the end of the first half, Jerome, Trace got a couple. Galloway's was really big at the end of the first half to get that. And then the second half, uh, we were able to establish and get a few more, um, which was really good. Big key to the game, you know, to be honest with you, is us out rebounding them and not turning it over but eight times in the game. So I was proud of the second effort. So I thought Jerome missing his own shot and following up was probably the probably the nail in the coffin for us to give us the ability to win the game. Dustin. Archie, obviously they did everything they could, especially in the first half to take Trace out of it. And you guys, you know, responded to that really well in the first half, I guess not as well early in the second. What did you see, you know, went particularly well, you know, especially in the first half, what didn't go so well in early in the second half? Was it just missing shots or was there? Yeah, I, I would say based on not watching the film and just having a feel for my, my sideline, is to say that some of the shots in the second half were the same ones in the first half. They just went in and uh, we got some good looks in the second half. They didn't go down. Um, they definitely were obviously surrounding the paint with five players. Um, and they also trapped the post, you know, most of the night and uh, tried to make other guys beat them in the first half. Rob and Al in particular, I thought did a really good job. We had some other guys step up and make some shots in the second half when we really went through our rut and, and struggled to score, um, you know, I thought later in the game, Al made a couple big plays, a couple drives and got fouled. And then Trace sort of emerged, you know, when we needed him the most. Um, but, you know, teams are going to do that. Purdue is going to do the same thing. They'll trap Trace every single time he catches the ball. It's not going to be anything new. Um, I do think right now we're getting a little bit more confident handling it. And I also think we have some more guys with confidence right now offensively that, um, you know, feel good about shooting the ball. You know, we're getting a lot of different type of contributions each game in, game out from behind the line. And, you know, for us, we shot 37% from three and made nine threes. That's a pretty good night for us. We have different guys shooting it. Um, I don't, I didn't think we would make, you know, seven for 13 another half. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, as you look at it as a coach, where you're getting a quality shot, where you're getting a good possession in the last four or five minutes of the game, did you execute better than you did against Wisconsin? That was the goal in the game. And I think we did that. Greg Doyle. Sorry. Archie, you said this is not going to be anything new with Trace getting trapped and all that. Did Nebraska sell out more than than you've been seeing it? There were several times it looked to me like they didn't even care what else was happening. Trace, yeah, I, I would play. say I would say Nebraska is probably the first team that had the extreme um, level of they let the other guy shoot it, make him shoot it type of a feel. And I think they did that to us a little bit last year as well. But um, you know, they they did decided not to guard some guys. They decided to leave guys just wide open. And uh, sometimes that's a funny feeling when you miss one or two, you know what I mean? Sometimes as a player, when you're being left open and you miss a couple, it starts to play games with you, but you got to continue to take them. You got to continue to take the good ones in the rhythm on the inside out. We knew that was coming. Uh, but I thought just in general, it was a very 
uh, very tight, uh, very soft approach on the ball. Try to keep everything underneath you and, um, you know, try to feed the post the best you can and get it in as many times, but they were going to sell out and try to get it out. But I will say this, Trace did get 14 free throws in this game, which was great to see um, because the other night um, they only called eight personal fouls the entire 50 minutes. So tonight for us to be able to get to the foul line 25 times, that was a, that was a much different feeling for us uh, than it was the other night. But um, but Trace is going to have to continue to deal with the doubles, and our guys are going to have to continue to be confident when it comes back out. John Blau. Obviously, you guys had that tough loss to Wisconsin. It seemed like you guys went straight to Nebraska. Um, getting there early, I mean, how do you think that helped you guys just kind of move on? And, and do you think it helped with your shooting, you know, having experience on those rims going into this game? Um, I, I don't know about the shooting, you know, um, but, we, but we did go straight from Wisconsin to Nebraska. Um, we've looked at a lot of our trips this year um, from a COVID standpoint and from a budget standpoint and just trying to figure out what's the best. And this was going to be a long road swing with no school. And, um, you know, to, to leave, you know, uh, Wisconsin, fly all the way back to in, Indiana, um, get in at two or three in the morning. Um, Friday is going to be a hard day. You got to get back on a plane Saturday. You know, uh, I spent some time in the Pac-10 and I always thought that like, the players, the more they can stay in one place and the more they can have recovery time in the hotel, the more you could use your hotel ballroom to walk through things. It just seems to me it gives them more, much more of a comfortable recovery approach. So we tried that this week. It worked out well for us. I thought our guys did a good job. Uh, we did get over here and practice a couple times, so I thought we were familiar with the building. I don't know if it helped with our shooting, but um, I would do it again as well. I mean, I just think right now, um, you know, traveling, um, and all the testing and all the getting up and doing stuff, sometimes these guys are, are going to be better off with just kind of staying tight. And um, we go back this week to a home game, and then we're going to continue to kind of look for our road opportunities when we can eliminate as much on a plane, on a bus, back on a plane, back on a bus as we can. And this, to me, took one leg of the trip sort of out of it for our guys where we could get in and then yesterday spend some time and just kind of working on Nebraska ourselves and not really worrying about a whole lot of travel. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.
Just a quick note on Trace. He's made 79 of 111 free throws, which would rank him first in the country in both uh, after this game today. There may be another player that plays tonight, but he leads the nation in free throws and free throws attempted at 79 and 111. Okay, first question for Rob, Caitlin. Zach Osterman. Rob, I guess um, I think the, the, the phrase that Coach used was that you and Al really took a lot of what was being given to you, um, but especially these last couple of games, I know it's sort of cliche to ask about it, but without Armand, just how much did you guys feel like, hey, it's it's even more on us than, than normal, than, than, you know, it even kind of is before knowing you're missing another piece in that backboard? Oh yeah, it's huge. I know um, Armand, he's he's a big piece in our offense. So um, we obviously knew that just being the upperclassman that we had to step up. So uh, I feel like me and Al, like you said, he did we did take shots. Um, just pretty much gave what the defense gave us. Tom Brew. Rob, would you have ever imagined a game though where, where you and Al take 20 shots combined in the first half and Trace takes one? <laughs> I mean, uh, like you said, I feel like that's what uh, their defensive plan was really. Um, Pack the paint. So, um, I mean, we've been working on our working on our shot all season. So, we just took what they gave us. Kevin Brockway, you got off to a torrid start. Then you know you kind of go down with the leg injury late in the first half, the little leg issue. But you come back. How important was it for you to kind of finish this game? And I mean, how were you physically in the second half? Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's a little sore now, but um, I mean, I'll, I'll be fine. But uh, we got just tried to be aggressive and um just take what the defense gave me. And I just pretty much um, fed off my teammates. They gave me a lot of confidence. Jeff Rab Johns. Hey Rob, how much of your hot start is, is confidence or, 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 is that, or is that making it too simple? What, what, how much of it was confidence and what, what else plays into that? Um, I say a little was confidence and then uh, just the way they were playing defense, they were going under a lot of screens and uh, really just packing in the paint. So I had a lot of open shots and um, I just took them and knocked them down. Last question, Alex Bozich. Rob, Mar Archie mentioned kind of the adjustment to the travel schedule. You all didn't go back home to Indiana. You came uh, to Nebraska. Was was getting any extra time in their gym before the game? Uh, did that help at all? Kind of get, getting a feel for for the arena. And also, was did you guys like kind of that plan of of going straight there and, and not really having to to get on an extra flight? Oh yeah, I mean we had a. I feel like we really bonded in those times. I mean, we were just stuck in the hotel the whole time. So uh, guys were always together and we had a lot of fun together. So really, um, uh, like you said, we had two extra days down here just to get a feel. And, um, we got a lot of shots up here. So um, we had a feeling that they were going to pack the paint too. So I just really took what they gave me. All right. Thanks, Rob.